So here we are. You're probably wondering, man, what's he got in the bag? And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I've seen a lot of videos about people talking about like, oh, what's in my camera bag? What's in my gear bag when I go do this? But I haven't seen a lot for Airsoft. So that's what we're gonna do today, all right? I'm gonna break down uh, what pieces of gear I bring with me every time I go to the field. This will hopefully give you some ideas and uh, there's definitely some things in here that aren't just airsoft related, you know? They're just kind of tools or whatnot, but we'll get into that shortly here. Um, so this is kind of my main bag here. It's kind of a duffel bag. Um, it's actually a hockey equipment bag, um, but I don't play hockey. Uh, I'm like the one Canadian who like, I don't do hockey, you know what I'm saying? So this is my airsoft bag, all right? Um, I also do have a gun bag down here, but we'll get into that a little later, all right? So let's crack this puppy open. Epic. All right. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to cover. Okay. Hmm. Where to begin? Um, so let's start with, obviously, my face protection. Uh, this is my airsoft mask, my paintball mask, but I use it for airsoft. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a V-Force mask. A bunch of people have asked me the exact model number for this mask. I don't know. Uh, I got it like five years ago uh, when I was like, you know, pretty five years ago. I do have a new one on the way because uh, this one's starting to get a little scuffed up. Um, but that's the mask that I'm using. It also has the GoPro mount on top. Next up, we got this little guy. This is my GoPro Max because uh, we're living life to the max or something. I don't know. It's a 360 GoPro and uh, it captures 360 degrees, everything around me. And then on my computer, I can edit what I want you guys to see and what I don't want you to see, more importantly. But yeah, super great camera. Um, I've also got a metal kind of shroud around it um, just so that it doesn't get damaged by BBs. I think it would probably be fine. Um, but you know, I just like to protect my expensive equipment. Um, and then I also put um, like a lens protector for a sight, like a red dot sight on the back of this thing. And it just has a screen protector and then I just kind of tape around it. Works great. It's pretty heavy, not the most practical camera, but you know what? We're always about pushing the boundaries here uh, for airsoft content. So that's kind of what I'm rocking currently. If you want to see a full in-depth video on my camera set up for Airsoft, I do have a video on that as well. You can go check that out. Uh, moving on here. So, we've got one glove. I'm not sure where the other one went. Um, it's time to replace these. Some fingers are falling off and all sorts of stuff. These are just kind of like hard knuckle gloves, like the Battlefield 3 style, like hard knuckle kind of gloves. Uh, I've been wearing them for years, they work great. Um, it is nice having that extra little bit of protection in certain areas um, because getting shot in the fingers is not enjoyable whatsoever. I don't care how tough you think you are. When you get shot in the finger, it hurts. I've got a toque, just like a beanie toque. Uh, this is what I wear underneath my paintball mask because I don't like getting shot in the head. Just a black beanie that I use just for airsoft. So it's great. Uh, moving on, let's talk BBs. So I use two different types of BBs. Sorry, that was probably really loud. So I usually use two different types of BBs. Uh, we got the Elite Force Bios over here. These are two eight gram BBs, uh, 0.28 grams, uh, and 5,000 rounds. Uh, this is kind of my outdoor BBs. Uh, this is what I'll use for all my outdoor battles. So we got the Bios uh, for outside. And then, then for indoor. We got the glowy boys. Um, these I've been running as well. Oh, actually I got the bottle right here. As well as these actually. Um, so these are the Jaga Arms tracer rounds and then the Mad Bull tracer rounds. Um, these ones were quite a bit cheaper. They were on sale, that's why I got them. Uh, and they're actually cheaper for two fives than these are in two O's. I know, it's weird. But I find actually for indoors, you just use two O's to be honest. They're cheaper and for the most part, Ex an exclusion being this. There's no wind to affect your BBs or anything. Um, so I'm going to probably be just getting the 2.0 uh, gram BBs from now on because they fly faster because they're lighter. And uh, yeah, they're just as accurate inside, guys, all right? Outdoors, definitely I recommend the 2.8s. Um, they're kind of a great middle ground where they're heavier than 2.5s. So definitely a big noticeable difference from 2.5s. Um, but they're not crazy expensive, like three twos, four grams, 
Obviously, if you're sniping or something like that, go with a heavier BB. Me, you know, I find it works well. My gun hops it really well. I don't know, I'm just a guy, all right? Here, I got two barrel covers for some reason. These are very important when you go to your field. Your field will probably, well, it should, all right? You should be mandatory that you wear, well, you wear, that you put on a barrel cover to your gun. And they just kind of elasticate on there and will prevent any misfires. But sometimes I have heard stories of BBs going through these, so just be super careful. Take out your mags, all that good stuff. Got one from Ultimate Airsoft and then one from G&G. &G. So two different options there. Let's talk about this. Got some knee pads here. I do also have elbow pads in here somewhere. Again, I apologize. My bag is a mess. Um, but these are knee pads. These are super great. I definitely recommend everyone get knee pads, whether you're playing indoor, outdoor, especially indoor. Um, you don't want to get a knee full of BBs when you crouch down. You can do slides, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, I'm personally not a big fan of elbow pads. I do have a pair of elbow pads, like I mentioned. But uh, yeah, just not the biggest fan. They're not quite for me. I find when I'm like, I don't know, getting into position or whatever, um, they just kind of cut off a lot of my range of motion, my freedom of motion. So I'm not the biggest fan of them, uh, but I do have them in case I want them. They are nice the occasional time. Uh, what else we got in here? <clears throat> we got the uh, Airsoft Innovations gas can. Um, this is super important if you are running um, gas guns. Uh, I currently am not running one, so I'm not sure why it's in here, but it's here. My pistol broke. I got a new one on the way, um, maybe more than one, so stay tuned for that. Um, but this is super important if you are running gas uh, guns. This is a great tool to have. This comes with a whole Airsoft Innovations kit. Um, it's kind of just one of the pieces because uh, I run propane, I don't run green gas. Um, you know, everyone has their own opinions, but I personally just, propane is so much cheaper. Um, so that's why I prefer it and it does the same thing. Uh, it just has a bit of a smell to it, I guess. Um, but you can take your propane tank, fill it with this, or you can even put green gas in here, to be honest. And it's just got the same valve that's on like uh, your mags. And uh, you can just fill this up with gas and then throw it in your, your vest, your chest rig, whatever. And then when you're out on the field, you can regas your gun if you have to without having to go grab either your propane tank or bring out a green gas can with you. So it's super effective. Love this thing. Definitely recommend. Uh, we've got a bunch of little stuff too, like just like some M-Lock rail segments in case I want to try out something different. Um, the base plate for my main gun for the battery stock, but I have a new battery extension that doesn't require this anymore, but just in case I need it, it's in here. Uh, I've got a Shemog, always nice to have, whether you just want a bit more neck protection, your neck's getting lit up on the day of play or something like that, or you just, you know, want some warmth or something. It gets cold here in Canada, so you never know. Uh, next up we got my radio pouch. Now this is, mainly I use this outside, but uh, I will use it inside the occasional time. It's still kind of nice to have, just to be able to coordinate with teams and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this is my radio and I just run it in an M4 mag pouch. Um, yeah, it's literally just an M4 mag pouch that I put onto my hip and uh, I've got the uh, antenna off right now, but I can quickly attach that. We're good to go. You guys have seen some of this in the, in some of the outdoor gameplay videos. Uh, communicating with that is super nice for setting up games instead of just being like, oh, five minutes from now we'll attack you guys. It's like, hey, you guys ready? Uh, we're coming. All right, sick. And it's just way easier. Yeah, I don't know. So this is actually something that my brother got me for Christmas, my brother Maroon. He got one for himself too. I don't know if you can see that well or not, but it's a little light up like wristband thing. Um, I think a lot of fields should be implement, imp, implementing these. They should make it mandatory that like, you know, you bring one out. They're only like $5. Um, and it's just like a little light that has four different colors. And uh, it's really handy for um, identifying teammates, setting up games and whatnot. That way, calling hits, you can set it to red. Like you literally just click it on and it's already red. Boom, red, put it on your shoulder. You're dead, you know? It's just an easy way to signify. You can do like green team, blue team, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and I just think it's a really great method um, for identifying players and whatnot. I know a lot of fields are really bad for friendly fire, like mine. <laughs> and uh, this would be a, a great way to medicate it for a, a really small price. Um, so I definitely like this. 
Uh, moving on, we got my dump pouch right here. That's where I just keep a bunch of stuff. On the day of battle, obviously, I have it on my back for extra mags uh, when I'm for mags when I'm out of ammo, I just throw them in there. But uh, this is kind of what I got in here right now. I've got my speed loader, um, obviously necessary if you are using mid cap magazines. Um, so we got that. And then my sling also. I very rarely run a sling, but there is the occasional time where it is kind of nice to use, especially if you're using a sidearm. Um, it is definitely nice to have a sling just at your disposal that you can quickly throw on if need be. Uh, my brother Maroon loves to play the sling, so, you know, to each their own. <clears throat> Some other stuff. We got a extra spring here because you never know when you might need to do a spring change on the field. Uh, just in case, you know, I, I never heard of a spring breaking, but I'm sure it's a thing and it's nice just to have some options. Especially because my gun is such a quick change spring system. So, super nice to have. All right, now we're getting into the vest. It's nice that I can throw my whole vest in this bag as well and just keep everything in one place. So we'll kind of go over what's in here. This is, I've mentioned this vest a lot on the channel. Well, it's more of like a chest rig, but uh, I definitely like it because my chest rig is up so high, it makes way more sense pulling my mags out from here and slapping them in my gun than pulling them out here and slapping them in my gun. We'll crack open here and see what's in the rest of this. I got my little GoPro bag of different lens uh, protectors and whatnot here. Got an extra speed loader with some BBs. I've got my tool for adjusting my FPS, like tightening my spring, because um, I have the KWA VPS system uh, in my main gun. Um, so this is super useful. And then it's got another front pouch here. That's where I keep all my batteries. Um, so everything I need for batteries is in here. Also, looks like you got this in here as well. This is just a Nike dry fit headband. Um, super useful for keeping the sweat out of your eyes. My goodness, this thing is a lifesaver. Um, I know I look like an extreme speedy boy now, but uh, you know what, that's all right. This just prevents any sweat from dripping down my face and clouding up my goggles. I know it's super gross, but it happens, you know? Yes, we got batteries. Let's go over batteries, actually. A lot of you guys asked me about my batteries. This is kind of one of my newer batteries that I picked up. This is an 11 one um, PEQ or PEQ uh, box style battery that is from Vulcan. Um, it is a 1300 milliamps battery and it is super good. Definitely like it. Um, I really need to solder my wires to Dean's because my gun actually is Dean's because I have a gate Titan in there. Um, and then we've got just a 7.4 here. I've had this battery for years. This is a GMP 7.4. Uh, these batteries are terrible now. They're just old. One actually blew up uh, on my buddy who was borrowing it at the field. Um, <laughs> so I should probably just throw it out at some point, but uh, I've got an extra one of those. And last but not least, this is kind of one of my other main batteries. I really only run these two in my gun. Um, this is a 11.1 um, stick style battery. Um, so it's a little bit different, but it does still fit in my gun and it's 1200 milliamps. So a little bit less than the PEQ, but uh, you know, same, same difference. Uh, so that's another really great battery also from Vulcan. Um, I think that just about wraps up my vest. So we'll throw that back in here and that's pretty much it for my bag as well. So I'm gonna clean all this up and we'll dive into my actual gun bag as well. All right, and here is my gun bag. Um, so a gun bag is super nice to have when you are going to the field. A lot of fields require some sort of gun bag, so it's nice just to get a gun bag. I used to just show up with my duffel bag and just <laughs> throw my gun in there loosely, um, but you know, it's not exactly a great permanent solution. I actually picked this one up used. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Well, actually when I bought my M14 uh, used, uh, it came with this gun bag from the guy who was selling it to me and uh, I wasn't intending on getting a gun bag but he threw it in and uh, it was super great to have um, and I'm definitely, um, well, it wasn't something I wanted to spend money on but definitely after owning one, super worth it. Um, so first off, it's got these kind of four mag pouches here. Uh, you can throw extra mags in here. And here we go. So this gun bag is quite a bit bigger than my gun. <laughs> this is all I have in here right now. Um, but uh, it's nice to have a bigger bag than what you need um, because you never know what you're gonna be bringing out to the field. I have a sniper as well and an M14. So it's nice to be able to fit all those in here. 
Um, I also find that you can fit about two guns in here at once, which is really great. Of course, this is my main gun. I've talked about this a bajillion times here on the channel. Um, I've just done some small little carbon fiber accents. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen those. Um, you can follow me at Kraken Airsofter. But yeah, this is my main gun. So when I'm going to the field, this is the gun bag that I'll pack it up in. All my gear in there. I've got two bags, one for each hand, you know, walk in, walk out. Super clean, super good. Um, but yeah, that basically um, is my bag setup. Um, what I'm bringing to the field um, every time I go. I hope this was somewhat interesting for you guys um, and uh, kind of brought to light some of the things that I bring out to the field and I think you guys should bring too. Um, so yeah, just make sure you got lots of batteries. If you want, you can even have a, a checklist. Um, I know it sounds kind of tacky and you know, it's the, I know it sounds kind of tacky and nobody wants to do it, but there's been plenty of times, I'm sure you and me have both been to the field where we forget something. Um, so it's nice to have that covered. But uh, thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. We will see you in the next one. Stay awesome, guys. Peace.